seriously, it's so delicious. I cannot wait for you guys to try making this. Your mind is gonna be blown. I'm not kidding you. Like I, I am without speech. Man, strawberries and rhubarb are a match made in heaven. You need to make something this year with strawberries and rhubarb. The combination of sweet and tart and oh, the crumble topping, guys, is gonna blow your mind. I'm very excited for you guys to try this recipe. So here we go. So for the fruit filling, you need a pint of strawberries, a few stalks of rhubarb, some maple syrup, tapioca starch, and vanilla extract. And then for the crumb topping, we just need a few very simple ingredients like almond flour, coconut sugar, oat flour, some gluten-free rolled oats, a handful of spices, plus salt, plus some nut butter. I'm using sunflower seed butter, but you could use almond butter or, or cashew butter. Now we're gonna start first with the fruit filling. So we're going to just very coarsely chop up our rhubarb into little cubes, uh, nothing fancy, and we're just going to pop that into the casserole or baking dish that you're going to bake them in. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the strawberries. No need for them to be chopped all pretty, just very coarsely chopped is fine. Add them to the bowl with the rhubarb, and then we're going to add in our tapioca starch. You could also use cornstarch as well. And this is just going to act as our thickener. It's going to help thicken up the fruit filling as it cooks. And then we're just going to add in a little bit of vanilla for extra flavor and some maple syrup to help add a little extra sweetness and balance out the tartness of the blueberries, plus a pinch of salt just to help bring out all the flavors. And then just mix it all until it's a very well combined fruit filling. And then just simply smooth it out into an even layer with your spatula. So we'll set that aside for a moment. And now we're going to move on to the crumb topping. So in a food processor or a blender, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. So the flowers, the coconut sugar, our spices and salt, and also the nut butter. Now we're going to blitz this all together until it forms a really nice clumpy, crumbly topping. Um, it's not going to be finished yet, but it's going to turn out something like this. It's kind of like wet crumbly sand. Um, now what we're going to do is add in the rolled oats. And we're not going to blend them all together, but we are gonna pulse it a few times just until they're well combined. We don't want them to become pulverized, but we just want to mix them in. So just a few pulses is fine. And it's gonna turn out looking something like this. And this is so delicious. Honestly, I could just eat this stuff by the spoonful. It's so good. But moving on, we're gonna add that crumb topping on top of the fruit filling. It looks like a lot, because it is a lot, but ooh, it is so good. And it's gonna form a really nice thick crust crumb topping. And we're going to spread it out until it's in an even Layer, making sure all of the fruit has been covered completely. Pop it in the oven and bake it until it looks something like this. I would have to say that strawberry rhubarb crumble has to be among like my top five desserts of all time. This, I'm such a sweet and sour lover. So the combination of the strawberries and rhubarb is so good. And the nut butter in the crumb topping is like such a genius idea. It adds so much substance and extra crunch to the topping. Mm, it's just delicious. And you can add a little dollop of plant-based ice cream, but here I just use plant-based yogurt because that's what I happen to have on hand. And it was so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe. You will love it. Mm. Mm. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I have so many other great recipes for you guys to check out, including this strawberry rhubarb pie video that you might want to make for yourself this summer. And that's it. I love you guys and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you in another video. Bye. Strawberry Roomba. I don't know if that's a Roomba. I just kind of made it up.